Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Intuitive Angling. Really appreciate you guys sharing part of your day with me to watch the video. Got a really good tip today I'm going to give you guys on my favorite flipping technique or and bait setup for the month of May. That guys, I average 30 to 50 bass a day into the right conditions with this setup. And specifically, it works in the month of May. So I'm going to, I'm going to show you guys how to rig it, how to set it up, and explain a little bit where I fish it at. And if you guys are interested in any of these components I'm talking about, I'll include the Baitworks link in the description. You guys know it's a great way to support the channel out. And while you're there, I'll include the uh, Block at Old School Jig link, man. We got them back in stock. Get you some of the Block at Old School Jigs. Um, got eight different colors on it. I'm getting ready to come out with a new color. Uh, like I'm going to call it a Randy Special here. But check it out, man. Get you some at the uh, Baitworks. Uh, or excuse me, the Block at Old School Jig link in the description here. Much appreciated. It's really a great way to support the channel. If you guys like what I'm doing here and, you, and you're and you free to buy your tackle where you want to, that's uh, much appreciated if you get it through bait work. So, okay guys, I'm gonna show you what it is here, how I rig it up and explain everything. And I'm gonna show you the bait right off the bat and it's a Zoom Super Fluke. Guys, most people don't think about a Zoom Super Fluke as a flipping bait. They think about it as like a soft plastic stick bait that you work, you know, just through the water. Guys, I'm telling you right now, there are very few baits in the late spring during the post spawn that will get you more bites than flipping this thing in and around cover. And I'm going to show you how I set it up. So first thing I do, we got two flukes here and I'm going to show you guys, you guys know about the roughing up technique. If you guys have rough, watched the channel much, um, this is every day, every <clears throat> bait you pick up, you got to do this to it. I don't care what it is. And if you guys haven't seen the channel much before, Roughing yourself soft plastics up is key to maximizing and getting more bites on it because what it does is almost every soft plastic has got some level of salt in it. The Zoom has salt in it, but it's not as salty as like a Yamamoto, so everyone's different. But by doing this, it breaks that salt up. It makes the plastic more soft, pliable, better action, and it gives it a different color. So here's, here's the difference in the two. This is the one that I just I just roughed up here. These are both watermelon red. Here's one out of the package. Here's one that I roughed up. You can see the difference in the two. Gives it a different look that the bass doesn't see. And most of the time, also, I'll dye the tail chartreuse when I'm flipping this. Next thing I want to do is the hook setup. Now, the other thing you guys know that I watch the channel a lot, you know that I prefer a straight shank hook for most flipping applications. This is not one of them. I've experimented with a straight shank hook and the fluke for whatever reason, the way that the bait's designed, the straight shank hook simply does not work as good. So the hook I use is a 3 yacht Gamagatsu G Finesse worm, uh, hybrid worm hook. And uh, coming through about a, oh, probably about a quarter of an inch or so all the way through it. And um, I'm going to come completely out the backside of the worm, or excuse me, of the fluke, and I'm gonna lay it flat. You know, the hook's still exposed. If I'm if I'm flipping areas that aren't real thick, I'll leave that point just like that. But if it's gnarly, like flip, flipping bushes, I'll just tuck it back in like that, so it's just barely tucked in. And then um, my slip sinker ranges anywhere between three eighths to one half, depending upon the cover that I'm flipping here. And then I'm gonna put my uh, bobber stopper peg back in it. Um, bobber stoppers is the one that I prefer. If you guys saw the video I did a couple of days ago, by using the bobber stopper in it, you can control the tension as far as how tight you want that sinker. So I always want that sinker to be able to move a little bit. I don't want to lock it into place. So I put it on there just enough where it keeps it pegged against the head, um, yet at the same time the bait will move a little bit. So that's the setup like this. Guys, I'm telling you right there, this is freaking money right here. Now, the places I like to fish it, the, when I'm talking about catching 50 bass a day flipping this, the 50 bass a day um, number comes from fishing around here in southwest Missouri if we have flooded higher water conditions where the bushes are flooded, water, water willows in the water, willow trees, that type of stuff. Any time in May that if we get a condition like that where we have water like two to three, four foot in the bushes, I can go to Bull Shoals Lake, Table Rock Lake, Stockton Lake, and I can average 50 bass a day flipping the Zoom Super, Flu Super Fluke. I'm flip flipping it most of the time on 20 to 25 pound test line. Um, 
it's just a subtle presentation. It's something that the fish don't see more. It doesn't look like much in the water. I mean, when, when you see this thing falling through the water, um, it doesn't, it doesn't look like it's that great, but there's something about the profile of the bait that generates a lot of strikes. And one of the, th one of the things that got me on this and started experimenting with it, I remember we were fishing a Bassmaster Top 100 tournament on Bugs Island Lake or 150 or something back in the mid nineties. And uh, Denny Brower, I had won the tournament a couple of years before on Bugs and Denny won this tournament flipping also. And uh, he, he was flipping a lizard in that tournament. It was post-spawn, it was a May tournament and everybody else was slipping jigs and that type of stuff, including myself. And then he won that tournament flipping a lizard. And he made a comment that when those fish get off the beds in May, a lot of times there's a period, that, like a two to three week period where they don't bite a jig quite as good as they will a more subtle soft plastic bait, like a lizard he was showing at the time. And I started experimenting with them um, when the water was up in the bushes here in Missouri in May. And I got keyed in on this one, the Zoom Super Pluke. Most of the time I'm flipping the watermelon red or sometime green pumpkin, like I said, dye in the tail chartreuse. Um, but it's just a simple deal, guys. Give it a try. Don't get too heavy with your weight. You, just, you want your weight just heavy enough to penetrate the cover. It works around docks, it works around laydowns, it works around shallow bank grass, flooded cover. It doesn't have to be just flooded cover for it to work. Um, I've caught a lot of fish flipping it around docks, but get keep your sinker just heavy enough to eff effectively fish the cover that you're fishing. And most of the time, like I said, this is between an eighth to uh, five sixteenths or something like that. So give it a try, guys. It's going to get you some bites. I promise you this may um, it'll probably get you more bites than about anything you can flip. So hope that adds up to a few more fish for you guys. Please hit that subscribe button, and we'll be back uh, soon with another tip. See you.